What's going on people, it's Casey from www.kc-sands.com Today's video is how to root your ultra beat sampler and use it as a multi app or instrument So what I do first is, or what you can do is hit the plus sign on your top left Go to software instrument and your output one and two then you choose your ultra beat. Now when you choose the ultra beat, you want to choose the multi output. Click on the plus sign to add extra channels so that you can then route these different sounds to them different channel faders. So say for example, we've got what sound we've got here. Say we've got that kick, clap, clap two, and a tambourine. So nice and simple, uh, four different faders we need, four different channel faders. So we've got one, two three four so we will name the first one kick hit the tab go across clap clap two hit tab again to go to the next one to type it in and we call that one the tam now at the moment we've got three and four five and six and seven and eight at the top section here which is the um the input for the channel now we're going to select the ultra beat uh, uh, in. now we're going to select which one we want to root to the, what fader we can keep it stereo or you can change it to mono it's entirely up to you so what I'll do is for the clap for the first clap I'll make that mono so I'll go to ultra beat 17 Then what I'll do with clap two, I'll make that three and four, so that'll be stereo clap. And then we we make the tambourine mono, so that'd be eighteen. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna make that kick our main kick. Yeah. So we leave that one there. We also want to, I'm going to solo that because there's other things playing. So we're going to make clap one. What did we say it was? Ultra beat 17, which is subgroup nine. Then three and four was clap two. And that is, where's clap two? Yeah. Three and four, click on there. And then we said we make the tambourine. 18 so you go on to subgroup 10 and we also solo that as well right so now when i play it we should see some stuff going on here yep that's rooted now if i pull out the fader for the clap you'll hear the clap playing Now, when I work, I don't like to see all this red stuff going on. Uh, some people don't really mind it, but I do. So I'm going to go into metering, click on vamped, and then deal with some of those levels, get it to around minus 18 on here. So the kick could do with a little boost. The reason why it's so low now is because my default setting on the vamp is minus 20. So now I just need to boost and get to about minus 80 roughly on everything. Cool. So now I'm going to bring up a fade out one at a time so you can hear the different instrument that's been rooted so we've got the kick then we've got the clap let's put some reverb in the clap reverb Bring 
out that next slap. And now we can use the pan pots when we come to mixing our sounds. So yeah, that's how you quickly root your different elements in Ultra Beat. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from that or got something from that. If you didn't and you, you got some questions to ask me, if there's something you're not too sure about, just leave a comment below and I'll reply and get back to you. Um, if you haven't checked out my other videos from before, please go and do so. I've got quite a few uh, videos on there, uh, tutorials or just beat making videos and stuff like that. If you liked the video today, hit the like button. If you want to carry on watching what I do and if you want to continue to keep up with what I'm doing, Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time. Peace.